all the bloggers, the, the chances of bloggers and all that. But you know, I love you like Kung Fu. Oh, my dude. Bogart! <laughs> salute, salute. How you doing, brother? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. You know, I'm chilling. <laughs> Danny, what's your take on all the hoopla? I know you're not missing anything. So what, what, what's, what's your take? Let's get straight to the shits, man. What? Um, what you mean? The, 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 the car on, on Easy's on Trench car. Let's get straight to it. Uh. I think it's I think it's a good card. It's a good card, you know. Me and Rosenberg, uh, in Philly, uh, tough, tough, tough place to battle. Tough place to battle, man. You know, uh, you battle. How many times have you battled in Philly, sir? <laughs> Shit, I battle. I battle Bill Collector in Philly. I battle Kaboom in Philly. Lose. I battle. I battle E Ness in Philly. I battle Lose in Philly. I'm battling uh top floor loot in Philly. I'm battling Rosenberg Raw in Philly. I'm I'm the I'm the goat, bro. Like, listen, I'm the I'm the king of the pull up, bro. I pull up to wherever y'all at and I and I do work. You know? Wow. I, I like that. <laughs> That's on six battles in Philly. And how about the battle you did off camera where you go to New York City, going yeah, over yeah, East Coast yeah, and everything yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, facts, how about facts, that? Facts. facts. Mm. Yeah. I'm I'm constantly working, man. Mm. So let's go ahead, man. You and Rosenberg Raw. I told Berg la Raw last night. I believe y'all are gonna have battle tonight. You say what? <laughs> well, it's possible. I, I think it's super possible, man. I, I mean, I, it's not nothing that I'm trying to achieve is that battle tonight. Mm. But I, because you know Philly is that's 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 Rosenberg Town. So it's right. like it's it's it's, it's he gonna he, whatever he say they about to be like oh. You know, but my job is to just to outwrap him. That my job is to I don't really care what you're doing or what you're talking about. You just you can't beat me. So that we gotta bring the spirit of competition back. I know it's a lot of, you know, drama as far as you know, URL blocked the card and you know, they they did that and then they did this. And you know, I, I me, I just don't I don't I don't really wanna be caught up in the middle of that, like as far as can you avoid that? Can you avoid not being caught up in the middle again? Is, is it really is it really easy to get away I from that? I don't think it's I don't think it's really possible to not be caught up. Right. You know? Exactly. But I, I just I just I, I came to rap, you know, um I know they beefing. You know, they beefing. <laughs> they, they it's beefing. a beef, it's beef now, Dan. It's beef. It's beef. Yeah. It's definitely right. beef now. The gun's I, off. I said, you know, he's he's playing. He he he's standing on his ten toes, but I told him like, yo, they, they not the people you wanna, you know what I mean? This is the machine. You 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 rage against the machine, but you know, you know, I I personally don't care for the beef, or I don't I don't like, you know, you know them beefing. They work together. I met Easy through them. I met Easy through them because of our battle. That's right. Like, and you know we we get, we got a we built a, a bond. You know, even after our battle, and mm -hmm. so you know, so now as far as like my homeboy is beefing with, you know, <laughs> my employers, you know, since so like uh, I did the card, I, I I took the battle for one because he reached out to me, and asked me, uh, I'm gonna do my first card, and uh, and this is what you do, this is what you do, <laughs> yeah, and I I rap, I, I do this anyway, you know what I mean? So I was like, why not? Why not battle? You know. Uh, why not battle in Philly? I, I'm, I'm about to be out there anyway. So, you know, he, he did me a favor because I asked him about getting me to um, Kentucky to my uh, my daughter's high school graduation. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, Luke, thank, thank you. Thank you for that. So, you know, he did that. Shout, shout out to my man Trombatose, too. So, yeah, he did that, and, he you know, and that, that meant a lot to me. That meant a lot. Like, you know, he, he didn't. I asked him like, "Yo, make sure I, I'm at my daughter's graduation," and he he did that. So it's like, because of that, it's like I right, I gotta, you know what I mean? I I gotta keep keep my my word as far as like just battling. Mm. So he sent me the deposit, got me the flights, and then you know, because honestly, the the first battle I was supposed to do was Rosenberg. That's what he said, yeah. And it was originally you, you Rosenberg, right? You don't know what happened. And then, 
then he was like, yo, can you do me a favor and battle twofold? And I was like, all right, I'll battle twofold. And I figured that's an easier battle in terms of me and twofold are at a neutral spot. You know, it's not like he's in Chicago, he's West Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, it's an easier fight. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. And um, then, you know, of course, that shit, that is not happening. So, you know, got blocked. I got blocked. You know, so uh, they just, he, he was like, well, can you just battle Rosenberg Raw? You know, your original opponent. I'm like, yeah, I do it. So, you know. Um, were you frustrated in any time of this process? Were you frustrated? You know, I try not to let none of this, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got real, niggas got real life problems. Now, I know the battle rap shit and the, the blocking and the, the, the beefs, that, that's not real problems. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I got you. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, it's just a, it's, it's just like taking care of your kids and your bills. That's what, that's all men need to be concerned about. As far as the back and forth and the beef and like, I don't care. Y'all don't see me tweeting about that or, you know, me picking sides or what side I'm on or none of that shit. I'm like, bro, look, man, I'm, I, that man, that man did a, he did a solid for me. And, you know, I, I gotta just, I gotta just do my end of the bargain as far as just being a man and keeping my word and just keeping my integrity. You know, um now as far as uh like <laughs> my man earlier my man earlier was just saying like yo well what if URL come with uh listen with this all before you go I, I I I put this out here. If URL calls you tomorrow, right? And said Danny Myers, we are gonna offer you loaded lux and murder mook <laughs> to get off easy's card you do what, sir? Hey, easy, my nigga. Good looking. Uh... <laughs> Good looking, bro. But, you know, Are you serious? now I have to put my pride aside and my, my, my integrity, you know, at, at a degree and put that down and think about my kids. Because with a, a Lux battle or a Moot battle comes, of course, a bigger bag. <laughs> so, like, now it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm really. I'm still. I'm still breaking my honor. I'm still breaking code. But at at what price? You know, what price do I do that for? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to think about my kids at that point and stop thinking about myself and my reputation and start thinking about them. Like, because that's where the money going to. So it's like. <laughs> You know, I, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. As a dad, you know, as a dad, you look at your kids and you can't look at your kids in the eye and say, yeah, I turned down X amount of dollars just so I can, you know, keep my name in the street. It's a tough decision to make either way. Because if I turn down the Lux or Mook situation, then it's like, yeah, well, you had an opportunity to get Lux or Mook in a big bag and you turned it down just for to keep your integrity intact. It's a tough spot to be in, man. All right. All right. I, but I didn't get that call yet. So call stay right there. You said call yet. Call yet. Are call you, me, Beasley. Two more questions. Two more questions. <laughs> two more questions. Are you, call surprised, me, are you surprised you didn't get a call yet? And are you expecting a call? Well, I mean, I, I, I've, had, I've had conversations with both sides, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, as far as the lucrative... As far as the lucrative What's offer. What's the new one? <laughs> the battle rap, lucrative. <laughs> lucrative. I didn't get the lucrative offer yet. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the lucrative offer yet, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. But as of right now, I'm just focused on on, on working, man. That's it, you know. I, I got I got a dope announcement coming up pretty soon. Any okay. Day, any day now, dope announcement, you know, so. Are, are you worried that they feel that you're going against the machine? No, nah, no, nah. no, of course not. Nah. Of course not, Danny. The way that, that, is, you know about that? that it's not even that deep. It's not that, it's not that, like if, like I said, if it were to be me and Lux going down on easy car, then that's like, damn, that because of course they'd be like, well, yo, you could have did that over here, whatever he paying you, you go let, let, let us match that and we'll, we'll beat that and you come do that over here, but. I think with a battle like me and Rosenberg Raw, something of course that they they would have never ever booked. I don't, I don't know if is that if it's that big of a deal. Honestly, I, well, I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't think, I didn't think prep I didn't think prep at Holmes. He was a big deal. 
But we saw what happened to that. I didn't even build collector and whoever he was supposed to battle before. Right, right. He, he got off the card. Right. You know what I mean? Um, it's like I said, it's... It's, it's personal. It's personal, personal Dan. It's personal. It's to be in the middle or, you know what I'm saying? Or, it, you know, just for this particular event, you know, for this particular battle. It's not like I signed a deal with Easy and I'm just rocking with his lead only from now. It's, it's just a one battle thing. So again, I don't. I'm not looking at it like that, man. I'm working. I'm working. I got a dope announcement on the way pretty soon. So salute, salute to them and all the people involved with that. Um, but yeah, man, I'm working, man. I'm trying to get this champion of the year, bro. Like, okay, in the work. I've been putting in the work. I'm putting in the work. All the controversy. All the time, brother. All the time. All that. All that shit. Sometimes that shit just overshadows what what we here for in the first place, which is the bars, the raps. When, so when, so let me stay right there, there. When did the bars not come number one? When did that happen? When when, 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 three, when three letter man turned on his camera and started blocking. Bar God. <laughs> <laughs> when the media, when the media started running with all these stuff. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know, we rock with too heavy. Okay. You my brother, you my own. We same age, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Man. We rock with too heavy, man. Some, some of, some of the media is definitely needed. Like y'all are needed mm -hmm. because y'all drive the stories. Y'all the news source. Mm -hmm. Y'all are the news source. We need the media. I don't. I'm not. I don't. I'm not against the media. But a lot of times, when, I, but what I do notice is the drama and the controversy sells. Yes. So it does. Like drives up views and numbers and you know uh lucrative <laughs> money for the media when they when they when they blog on the drama uh -huh. and, it, and and so now the culture is talking about that part and nobody's talking about that nobody's right. talking about bars and rap so you know even with my own platform i don't even be focusing on no drama or none of that shit. i just talk about the raps all right couple and more that, questions that's kind of where i'm at with it like let's just talk about the bars and the battles and right, you know what I'm saying? Because we can have a dope battle. It could be a, it could, everybody can have a dope event. URL they got a dope event on the way. Easy got a dope event on the way. And in the end, the just the culture kind of wins in terms of if they're receiving dope content. But if the if all the the attention is focused on the wrong things, then the good things are are undermined. The good things are like there's no spotlight on. Yo, they just had a classic. It's like, yeah, fuck all that. But did you see this blog that Easy just put out? Did you see the response URL put out? It's like, yeah, fuck, we'll talk about the battle later. But yo, did you see the back of like, bro, nah, bro. This is I'm I'm older. I'm grown. Like I, as far as like the, the high school shit, right? I don't really. I don't. That's I'm. I didn't come into this game for that. I came here to be the best rapper, and, and that's what my focus is on. That's what I'm going to continue doing. You know, and I'm and I'm on a run. I'm, I'm on a hell of a run this year. Yes, you are. Uh, Jay Moore, Jay Two, Charlie Clips, uh, my man Killer B. Shout out Killer B, Mr. Biscuit in Denver. Shout out Mr. Biscuit. Um, I'll just sh shit on the way. Rosenberg Raw, my man Lose Prep. I'm on. I've been on. I've been on. A, I've been on a crazy, crazy run producing nothing but dope battles, dope entertainment, dope rebuttals, uh, original bars, and that's all I'm focused on is getting this belt this year, man. Okay, uh, I, I want to ask you one more question to wrap it up here with, with this kind of conversation. True foe said, right, to me, I'm going to get your take on this. He said that he offered a good amount of bread, a lucrative amount of money, right? Okay. But his opponent is not as big as you. Um, No, he's, he's not, but he's still a good... That spoke volumes. Good name. But then, good name. that spoke volumes to me, though. Just, all right, you talking about Danny Myers. So you're telling me, True foe, respectfully, you're not being a nag, respectfully, King. Okay, but, well, let's just... Talk block. Okay. So, true fall it could it could have endangered his 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 standing mm -hmm. with his employers. Mm -hmm. So imagine you imagine you do the the, the battle with Danny Myers on Easy's card, and then you kind of leave a sour taste. You know what I mean over there. So right. now yeah, now you did that one battle, but what about being booked next month and a month after that and a month after that? Like, right. how many events is Easy gonna right. throw? And I so four to five, six events a year. Why would he book you every event instead of different people? Because then people will be like, "Yo, why? 
the same people on the same cards, like I mean, on different cards. So it was like he had to look at the long run and and say, "All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to just, you know, I'm gonna bow out of this one and go take that battle over there, get get paid more, and stay in good standing with my um, consistent employees." So see, I'm, gl I'm glad you were the consistent employees. What I've learned the last couple of days that. Even brothers that are not on contract, they still some of them dip out of the battle because they feel it's gonna be uncomfortable. I don't know what they're I don't know what they're <laughs> no, no, listen. I feel that you all real respectfully will make it uncomfortable for guys to come over here if they do this battle. I just feel that way. And I hope that doesn't happen to you. I don't want them making you a person that comes to battle and, and minds his business. No, I don't, I don't nah, we, we we I got a better relationship with with them than that. You know okay. what I mean? And um, yeah, I got a, de a better relationship. I'm not saying that they don't have a good relationship with. Them. I'm just saying like, I I don't, I don't know. I, I put in I put in ten, eleven years of work for them. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. to to change up on me or something like that, right? I, I just think that would be out of out of their character. Okay. But one thing I know about them is they play hardball. They play hardball, and they they are they are. They're brutal. They brutal. There is that's the understatement. So we continue. Them, when you go to war with them, you you really you you're gonna lose. <laughs> you're gonna lose, bro. You're gonna lose. So you say easy's gonna lose? <laughs> I told Easy, I can't make decisions for that man. He's a grown man. But I did tell him, you know, you, you know, this is something you probably want to stand down. You want to stand down on this one. But you know he. You know, you know what Easy says. My, my 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 management, my old head, told me to leave y'all. Stop saying y'all name. You know what he's talking about when he says old head, right? Uh uh, no. Me. Oh, wow. He'll tell you that. He'll tell you that. Wow. See me. I don't. Me and Easy got a good relationship. It's crazy that us older dudes kind of. <laughs> it's like we we we're like, look, I know you're the young bull. You're a grown man, of course. You're not no little kid. He's, right? a, he's a grown man. He's a grown man. He's a grown yeah, man. you're a grown, grown man. man. You can make your own decisions, but it's when you look at the machine you're fighting, it's 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 almost an unwinnable battle. You're dealing with people that got way more bread. Look at this person. Bread. That's all that chill shit. Niggas want war and blood. They don't care about this. This is what the culture that we hit. My man said, "F all that chill shit." That speaks volumes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but that, see that 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 well, all that chill shit is like what what's the cost? What's the price of war? What's the price of war? You go to war with these people, it, it, it might it might you might lose all your bread. You might lose you you dealing we talking about you dealing with people that have damn near limitless money and and high class Hollywood. Lawyers, Hollywood mm -hmm. level of lawyers. You, it's it's for you to fight that. You remember when Irv Ir Gotti uh fought the um he went against the feds and won his case. Yes, and he broke doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He went. How much, much money he had to going against the feds? But he, but you, you so it's like who really won in the end? Because if you wind up just like well, spending every Dollar you had to beat them, just kind of still lost in a way, you know. What well, I mean? that's, that's, so, that's just your pride thing at that point. It's like, yeah, well, I still beat them. Well, let me, let me get a take on this. Somebody left a comment on the bottom saying, You are ain't chilling, so watch it easy. Because that's they're the big dog, they the bullies. You can't, you're gonna keep fighting the bullies until you get knocked out. I'm but then you know, but, but a lot of these, I'm, not, I'm not saying that that's what's gonna happen. Right. But sometimes y'all gotta pick your fights. You gotta pick your battles. You gotta pick your battles. You know, war, war ain't just something you just go into and just go in blindly and without a plan. It's like you gotta think about the long term. Who can play this game longer? How about that? Let's right. let's talk about that. You can you can you can throw as many bombs as they can throw as many bombs, but who can play this game the longest? Mm -hmm. And this called Costing you time, resources, energy, yeah, 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 your your mental, your, your stress levels, and but if, if if this is something you like to do, if you like the war, and that's what you live for, then have at it. 
But again, that's between them. Right. I, I, I don't. I'm not trying to war with nobody. I'm just me neither, trying, me neither, me neither. Not, not at, my, at my age. I ain't trying to war with nobody. At my age. I'm and I guess that's why some of the gangs eat candy. And that's where the younger generation and us we kind of separate because young niggas are now war, war, war. Older niggas like I rap, they don't. I will be here. Okay. Yeah, he's easy writing the comments. He don't miss nothing. I rap, they don't. I will be here. So it's bar guy, bar guy, he's giving you bars right there. You know what I'm saying? He's giving you bars there. Oh uh, you know? man, yeah, but again, I, you know, that's it's just an unfortunate situation. Yes, I agree. It is. Um, it is. Brothers being at odds with, with each other when they could just get together and make more money together. You know what I mean? And that's that's the type of time I'm on. You know what I mean? Like, the, the war shit, there's always going to be casualties in war, bro. Can you understand his frustration to a degree, though? As a battle rapper? As a pitter? As, as you know, I think, I, well, I don't, see, Easy said he asked for something like, uh, just YouTube drops, or and that was really it. And mm -hmm. that's all he wanted, though. And that's all he wanted. They they wasn't having it, or I don't know, because Beasley said something about you could y'all y'all could take uh pay cuts and we'll drop it on YouTube. And I, me personally, I I don't know. I don't think I would take no pay cut for a YouTube drop, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh because people look at the they weigh the pros and cons with that. They like, well, you get more money. Okay, I'll take less money, but I'll get more visibility, and then from there I can promote uh, my battles, and with that comes more opportunities to make more money. So you probably get more money in the long run by taking that little cut. So it's a give and take. Um, now I I wasn't in the room with them when they had them conversations, so I can't even really speak on. But I, but of course I, I I can understand his frustration as a battler as a battler. You know, and, and, you know, I got to have a falling out with y'all over something that I, I asked for that wasn't even, I don't know if it was that big of a deal, like, but, you know, they run, they run their ship how they run their ship. I can't tell them how to run their business. I can't tell easy how to run his business. So that's why I say what I do, I just work, man. I said, my job is to write raps, memorize raps, and then get on stage, execute the raps, and go back home with my kids. That's my job. As far as now, what I can can we can we call a truce? Can we try to get together? And can I? Uh, what, what was that movie? Soul Food. <laughs> Remember when he he got all of we got the family to come back and, and name and name right. Big Mama. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we can we all collaborate and say, hey, you guys, let's let's just, let's get let's get on the phone. Let's see what we can work out. Let, let me ask you this. this. Has battle rap turned into the hip-hop industry? Danny, we not slaves in 2023. Easy trying to involve. I respect it, bro. I respect it. What did you say again? Has, has battle rap turned into the hip-hop industry? Just yeah. cutthroat, cutthroat, conniving, backstabbing, just... Okay. A lot, lot of similarities for sure. Yeah, a lot of similarities in terms of when the because you know this was a grassroots thing from the from the school yes. lunch rooms, you know, uh, battling at wherever uh, open mic night wherever you battle at, right? Mm -hmm. And and then you know Smack started on the street corner with the camera and you know built this into a, a multi million dollar empire. You know what I mean? And so salute to that. That's a huge inspiration for. Even if you don't battle rap, just to see you know a black man just literally come from a, a, the streets and ma and make himself into a legend, and and you know him and Beasley and Chico and Norbs and you know everybody that that had a hand in that you know with P and KG the poet, just these men have really created opportunities for themselves to eat and to feed their families and to provide a way for so many black men and women to be able to feed their families. And that's just a great, it's a great story. Um, I do feel like part of their success comes from being true hardball ass people. Mm. I think, you know, nice guys win. Nice guys finish last? Like, like yeah. I don't think nice guys win in the end. I think, I think they be as fair as they can be, but 
you know, they, they probably got some of their guerrilla tactics that they use, and, and that's that might be the key to their success. If you read the 48 Laws of Power, shit, I, I, shit, man. I, I hate that book. I hate that book, but I hate it, but continue. <laughs> Hey, we'll talk about hey, that on another day. Yeah, I hate it. We'll talk about that on another day. But again, I, I, again, I, I, I don't tweet about this. I don't, I don't right. go live and talk about this. I just, I just do what I'm supposed to do. I do my job. I do my job. So talk to you about you and Rosenberg, man. How, 